One of the most amazing things about breath medicine is that you can do it anywhere, anytime. Unlike yoga, tai chi, uh, qigong, kung fu, and other practices that use the breath, breath practice by itself can be done while you're on your phone, while you're driving, while you're working on your computer, as you're going to sleep, it's very powerful as you're going to sleep, as you're waking in the morning. After all, what do we do when we wake up in the morning? We don't typically just jump out of bed. So it's a perfect time to do some breath practice. Uh, people can use breath practice in the middle of the night if they're having a hard time falling back to sleep after getting up. You can use breath practice as prehab to prepare for surgery or other medical procedures. And breath practice can be used as rehab after surgery or for people who are uh, compromised by uh, 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 injuries or you know, just anything that keeps them from being able to move about and be uh, ambulatory because movement and exercising and breathing are all very important for sustaining well-being. So this is a practice, these are practices that can be used by those who are compromised in some way. One of the other amazing things about breath practice is that not only do we have ancient insights from all of the great uh, prehistoric traditions or shamanic traditions like the yoga tradition, the Chinese medicine tradition, the um, even the Druids and the shamans uh, from the uh, native cultures of North and South America. So all of these uh, ancient uh, methodologies for high levels of performance and healing uh, include breath practice. And at the same time, we have an immense amount of research that's been showing up not even just recently, but over the years for the powers of breath practice and the incredible physiological mechanisms, healing mechanisms and um, vitality mechanisms that are triggered by simply changing the pace and the depth of the breath. In this breath practice, I'll give you a little preview of, of, of what it is that uh, you're going to be um, accessing. Uh, I'm gonna teach you five different breath methods. Those five breath methods are the foundations of every kind of breath practice from every ancient tradition and every modern tradition. Uh, so you'll be accessing the essence of breath practice in a context that is especially and carefully planned out so that it's easy to understand, easy to remember, and easy to practice. And not only that, but you'll be able to keep and use these practices for the rest of your life and share them with anyone that you want to. <laughs> the uh, So additional preview ideas is that these four breath practices have these names. The first one is called conscious breath. The second one is called maximizing breath. The third one is called the uh, elixir breath. And the fourth one is called the ultra breath. And for good reason, when you check it out, it'll be fascinating. And then the fifth one is called the symphony of breath meaning to use those four breath practices in a relationship with each other so that it formulates a kind of symphony. If each of the breath practices is like a note, then when you weave them together in all kinds of different orders, uh, which you can choose, you get different symphonies of the breath. So there's a lot here. And in addition to the teaching you the breath practices and explaining the benefits of the breath practices, uh, I'll also be referring to the 
to the science, to the research, and to the ancient origins. And so, you know, this is just an immense amount of information in 26 short videos. So you can consume them in whatever order you want to. Uh, and of course, you know, you're going to want to jump right into what are the practices and how do you do them. So I am hopeful that not only you will you join us, but that you will derive an immense life transforming benefit, which you can then when people say, what are you doing in your life that is, uh, you know, bringing out this radiance and this vitality, and then you can share the power of breath practice with others, wishing you well. And, and may the entire human race understand as soon as possible that the most profound healing resources are produced within the human system. Yeah, and there's no side effects and you don't have to be sick. You can use these practices to mobilize this internal healing medicine even if you're well and want to be more well or want to sustain your wellness. I look forward to knowing you better and thank you so much for your interest in this work.